There are several factors that influence why acoustic guitars sound the way they do, and you want to be aware of these factors, and that's going to help point you to your choices when you're choosing an acoustic guitar. The way I like to think about it is, is just think WBSS. That's all you need to know. See you next time. Take care. Thanks for tuning in. Try the veal. No, just kidding. Uh, WBSS is a principle that I've named this, and what that stands for is when you're talking, it's when you're talking about why acoustics sound the way they do. Are the W is for woods, the B is for how's it built, the S is for size, the other S for shape. Woods, built, size, shape. Those are the four things that are going to define why this acoustic sounds the way it does. And we're going to spend quite a bit of time examining each one and, and playing different ones so you can hear and see the differences. The W, woods, okay? So important when talking about acoustic guitars. How, what wood are they constructed from? And there's so many different woods that they use to make acoustic guitars. They use woods like... Um, for the tops of the guitars, or what you might have also called the soundboard, a lot of times they use spruce or cedar. Um, for back and sides, many times they'll be using rosewood or mahogany. Uh, they also use woods like cherry, koa, walnut, redwood. They also use ash, a redwood, zebra wood, maple. So they use many different uh, woods. In, in, in the making of acoustic guitars, and all these woods have different characteristics which give different sounds. For instance, the top of the guitar, the most important sound producing item on the guitar. Um, most of the sound of an acoustic guitar comes from the top. The top is what's amplifying the strings. The top vibrates and sends the sound to the sound hole where it's reflected back by the back. That's the next um, most critical part of the acoustic. Most of the sound comes from the top, then the next most is the back, and then third is the sides. So the top is critical. And most guitar tops are made from spruce. Spruce is, even though it's a soft wood, it's still very, very strong. And it's flexible because the top of the guitar needs to flex and vibrate, but yet it has to be very sturdy and strong. So that's why spruce is such a good choice. Um, also, another choice for the tops is a wood like cedar. Um, cedar is a little bit softer, and that's why a cedar top guitar is going to sound a little bit mellower. It's going to sound, it's not going to have that um, projection or the volume as the um, spruce top, but it sounds a little warmer to me and a little mellower. Here, check out these examples. Now, this is a Taylor, and this has a western uh, red cedar top. So this top is cedar, and the cedar woods used for the tops, now that's, they're a little bit softer than the spruces, which is probably your most popular top. So the wood's a little softer, so the cedar top acoustics sound a little mellower and a little richer to my ears, okay? This has mahogany back and sides, too. So I want you to listen to this guitar, and then after I'm done playing the cedar, I'm going to go to the spruce one after another, and you'll be able to hear the difference. The spruce will sound a little bit more on the, um, little bit more on the trebly side, a little bit more cutting, uh, where this guitar is a little bit more mellower, and uh, it's not going to project as much. That's the thing with cedar. It has a warmer sound, but it's not going to project like a, a guitar with a Sitka top on it, Sitka spruce. So here's uh, the, the cedar top guitar, just playing some basic open chords. <laughs> another Taylor. This is a GS8, and this has a Sitka spruce top. Now listen to the difference.
Yeah. Definitely a lot more uh, tre on the trebly end and a lot more cutting. The highs are a, a lot more piercing because the spruce top is a, a harder wood than the cedar. So the sound is bouncing off of it more and not being absorbed a little bit more by the woods like in a cedar top giving you that mellow, mellower sound. Now this is a Martin D15, D meaning dreadnought, and there is that classic dreadnought style of guitar with the, with the wider waist and wider mid body, right? Longer dreadnought. And this one has a mahogany top. Actually, top, back, and sides, mahogany. Um, now listen to this sound. Mahogany comes in different grades of wood, and it's, it's a lot harder, a little bit denser. So again, that's gonna produce a different sound. And this is where all the different moods of acoustic guitars come from. All the different woods have different tonal characteristics. Check out the mahogany top. <laughs> I'm trying just playing all the same chords so you can kind of compare all these. Now this guitar to my ears sounds good, but it doesn't sound as rich or as full as the other two, the Sitka or the um, Cedar um, top guitars. Now this guitar is a little bit less expensive, but um, it's still a very good sounding guitar, but you can hear the difference. Here we have a Martin 000 K2 16-41. Uh, K2, K for koa. This guitar has a koa top. Koa is a really uh, cool wood, a little bit on the exotic side, uh, mainly grown out of uh, Hawaii. It's a Hawaiian wood. Um, and I'll give you, a, again, another different tonal characteristic for a top. And this is a little bit more expensive, um, but koa tops and koa sides on guitars are getting a lot more popular. In fact, they're even making like some Fender Stratocasters and some other guitars with koa woods. Um, because it, 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 it is really, look at that finish, it's beautiful. What do you think of that guitar, Tim? It's awesome. Very uh, pretty in it. And this guitar too, Martin, like I'm talking about on this DVD, they use a very intricate numbering system for their guitars and the higher the number, the fancier the guitar is. And, and if you look around the binding on that guitar, around the edge, you could see all the beautiful work that they did with the inlays on the bindings and around the rosette. This is just a stunning instrument. Um, uh, very well made and very beautiful um, but I want you to hear the top I want you to hear the differences in the sound that's what we're talking about now and here's what the koa wood will sound like again same chords really projects and it's a little bit more on the higher uh, uh, a little bit more on the treblier side than the cedar but very biting kind of cutting sound Wood. So certain woods sound a little different way than one another. Some are more warmer, some are crisper, some are a little darker, some are more resonant, some are more balanced. This is what helps to give that guitar its mood or its individual voice. The woods that they use, the materials that they use to make the top, to make the back, to make the sides. And uh, cedar, and spruce are usually what's found in most guitars in the tops. The most common guitar today, like I was saying earlier, is the dreadnought uh, type or shape and or body style. And usually the most common materials are uh, a Sitka spruce top and rosewood um, back and sides or, or rose, Indian rosewood back and sides. And they all have their different tonal characteristics. So a guitar made with a Sitka spruce top is going to sound different than a guitar made with a cedar top. It's going to sound different if it has a spruce top and mahogany back and sides than one with a spruce top and, you know, rosewood back and sides, which might sound different than one with walnut back and sides. So you see all the woods and different combinations that the manufacturers use all produce these different moods of the guitar. That's why it's so important 
to play as many as you can. So you can be like, wow, I can hear the difference between this guy and this guy. So when you're going around and you're playing all the acoustic guitars, remember what woods are used in the construction, how it's built, is it solid woods, is it laminates, the bracing system inside, the size and the shape of the guitar all feed into you know what makes the acoustic sound the way it does. Keep those in mind as you're trying all your instruments.